I'm always amused when people accuse me of being anti-Islam, as if it's a bad thing, and as if I've been trying to hide it and they've somehow caught me out. Aha! I see what you are now. You're just anti-Islam. Yes, well spotted, Sherlock. Indeed I am. Just like every other sane person on Earth. Why am I anti-Islam? Well, for the simple reason that Islam is anti-me, and it's anti-every fundamental value I hold. If I were to accommodate its values in my life, I would have to violate everything that I believe in. I think that's an unreasonable demand, and as such, it is, of course, typically Islamic. In general, I don't like to be anti-anything. I prefer to be pro, but there's nothing in Islam to be pro about. The entire religion is built on a foundation of prejudice, injustice and inhumanity, and I'm anti all of those. People say, well, you only focus on the bad things about Islam, and yes, I have to admit that if you ignore the bad things, the aggressive separatism, supremacism and social intolerance, the relentless special pleading and phony grievance mongering, the psychopathic level of misogyny, the honour killing and genital mutilation, sanctioned by the Prophet incidentally, the rabid gay and Jew hatred, the intimidation and censorship and the constantly present threat of violence over social issues, well there isn't much wrong with Islam. It's perfectly kosher, if you'll pardon the expression. The trouble is, when you take these things away, there's nothing left. There is no Islam anymore because it is defined by these things and we can see the evidence of this with our own eyes. We can see that wherever this religion goes in the world, it brings with it guaranteed intolerance, conflict and social division. And if it gets the upper hand, persecution and ultimately monstrous cruelty and people always become less free, especially the female ones. Because I hold these opinions, I'm often falsely accused of hating Muslims when, in fact, many of the Muslims I've met in my life I've liked as individuals, I just don't like anything about their religion because there's nothing about it to like. It's an absolutely outrageous ideology. If you made it up from scratch today, you'd be locked up for your own good. It brings out the very worst in humanity and it gives power and authority to violent, sadistic savages. It has brought nothing positive to the West for the simple reason that it has nothing positive to bring. Its influence on this earth has been overwhelmingly negative and we would all be better off without it, including Muslims, especially the female ones. Any ideology that preaches death to anyone deserves no accommodation at all in a civilised society and no respect at all. It doesn't even deserve the pretense of respect. Death to apostates, death to blasphemers, death to adulterers, death to homosexuals, death, death, mutilation and death, as preached in the mosques, for it is written. And this is the problem. It is written. Any religious scripture can be a dangerous weapon in the wrong hands. That'll be human hands. And Islamic scripture is particularly dangerous because it's particularly inflammatory and violent. Hatred of non-Muslims runs through it like a watermark. Read it for yourself and see. Anyone choosing to follow this scripture can take explicit license to be intolerant and violent and to feel virtuous about it. And it really doesn't help that so many Muslims on this earth take their scripture far more seriously than any sane person should. In some parts of the world, if you so much as look at the Quran the wrong way, you're liable to be lynched on the spot. Hello again, Pakistan. The idea that this is just another religion and that all religions are equally bad is not only laughable, it's actually offensive. And it's insulting to the many victims of Islam, and I don't mean historically, but here and now. Right now on this earth, people are being persecuted and murdered every day by Muslims, and here's the important bit, for purely religious reasons. That is pure evil. And where do you think it comes from? Do not be friends with unbelievers. The vilest of animals are unbelievers. Kill unbelievers wherever you find them, and on and on and on it goes. Yet anyone who finds any of this offensive, well apparently they have a phobia. That's right, they've got something wrong with them. So yes, I'm very much anti-Islam as you can see. In so many ways I really haven't got time to list them all here. But I'm especially anti-child marriage. Are you anti-child marriage? Of course you are. I wish Islam was anti-child marriage, but it isn't, so I'm anti-Islam and I've been given no choice in the matter because child marriage is inexcusable. And while we're on the subject, putting an Islamic headscarf on a little girl is also inexcusable. In doing so, you sexualise that child because the headscarf is all about men and rape.
You're telling her that female hair drives Muslim men insane. It doesn't bother other men, curiously, just the Muslim ones. And since Muslim men must never be held to account for anything they do to a woman or to a girl, because Allah wouldn't like it, if they see her hair, they might rape her. And if they do, it'll be her fault. That's what the headscarf is really all about. Putting one on a child is an act of sexual and mental abuse, and it ought to be against the law. Finally, let me just say that in the past, I've drawn some criticism for suggesting that Islamic culture is in some way inferior to Western culture just because it espouses values that I consider deeply uncivilized and barbaric. And this hasn't done anything for my reputation in what we might call the progressive community, which troubles me deeply, as you can probably imagine. So I'd like to take this opportunity to try and clarify those remarks, if I may. Of course Islamic culture is not inferior. It's vastly inferior, and not just to Western culture, but to all cultures. Its values are an insult to humanity, all humanity, including Muslims, especially the female ones. There, I hope that helps to clarify any ambiguity. Uh, peace, anyone? Yeah, let's have some peace. You know you like it.